If you don't know already, for years, various people have been making 3D fixes for various games, a whole bunch of games, and they were originally intended for NVIDIA's 3D Vision. However, NVIDIA years ago dropped the 3D Vision drivers from the graphics drivers that you get today. And so, we didn't have stereoscopic 3D through that method. Now there's Geo 11, and if you combine the 3D fixes with Geo 11, then you can get stereoscopic 3D back on your PC. I'll show you how I did it. This is not necessarily a tutorial. I will go into depth about some of the problems I encountered and how I fixed it. At least I think I fixed it. And a word of warning. Using any kind of modifications on games that are multiplayer online could get you banned from online play or it could just kick you out perhaps. If you're lucky, it'll just do that. Anything you do to your computer, that's at your own risk. So, I take no responsibility if you try to follow along with me for any damage to yourself, your equipment, or anything else in the world. Even, yeah, even the tree. Yep. Yeah, that tree over there. Mm -hmm. No responsibility. So one of the first things I did was I discovered a program called 3D Fix Manager. And in 3D Fix Manager, you have all kinds of different games on the side here. And I don't know if you can see that right there. And then when you click on one, it'll say something like install the 3D Fix if you've got the game installed. And it'll say download the 3D Fix if you don't have the game installed. And so this one says uninstall 3D Fix because I've already got the 3D Fix installed on the Halo Master Chief Collection. And that's basically all you do is you just click the button, it'll install it for you. It, it's easy to take off too, you can just say uninstall the 3D Fix. Now in order to see all your games in here, you have to go into the settings tab and then down here it says detect installed games. And you add a directory where those games are, like your Steam directory. So I put my Steam directory in there, I put my uh, Epic Games directory in there and a couple of other little things and then you can say search games here and it'll try to update your list to all the games that are installed which are right there and those are all the ones that can detect. Now I don't have Borderlands 3 on there. That was a problem. So what I what I did with Borderlands 3, if I could find it... Borderlands 3, there we go, Borderlands 3. See it says install 3D fix but it's grayed out because it can't detect that I have that game. So if I go down here, let's see, pretty sure, there it is. Okay, so it says instructions, download the fix. So you download the fix and then I unzip the file and then took all those files, copied them into my Steam directory where Borderlands is located and Borderlands is a little weird. It says Borderlands 3 Oak Game Binaries Win64. That's where the game is. And that's where you have to put those files. And then I just went into my folder where I've got Geo 11. And I just go to my X64 since it's a 64-bit game. And then you just need three files. It's the D3D11 DDL. You need this D3DXDM, any file. And then we need the NVAPI64.dll file. Um, Borderlands 3, Oak Game, Binaries, Win64. And then you copy them or you paste them right here. I've already done that. You can see there it is right there. You got that one right there and in the API right there and that's not all you need to do you need to go to d3 dx ini edit it and then you have to find you have to go into find type in force underscore stereo and there it is right there and it says, setting this to 2 sets 3D Megato to use 3D Vision Direct Mode. 3D Megato is what you need. You have to use that. So you put 2 in there, just like it says. And then you save that. 
file. I've already done that, so I'm not going to mess with it. Then you go to your d3dxdm.ini file. You edit that, and then you just look at this right here, the device. This is your direct mode. And you, you can do all these things, top, bottom, reverse, top, bottom, uh, side by side. These are all half side by side and half top, bottom. Interlaced, if you have the interlaced TV, mine can do all of these. Uh, checkerboard, uh, uh, that's great. Anyway, so it says, here's where you set it, direct mode, side by side. S SBS, and if you wanted it top and bottom, you would have TAB. If you wanted it reverse, you would grab that one and copy it, and you would put it right there. And that's it, you save that file, and you should be able to just run your game now, and it should be side by side, top bottom, whatever you've picked. Now, there are a couple of things that I ran into, and I'll show you them right now. Here's a problem I ran into when I started Darksiders 3. I got a four screen setup somehow. So I looked into the d3dx.nin file to see what might be wrong, and I found I had included the 3D Vision to SBS shader. That shader is used to turn 3D Vision into side by side or top and bottom a lot like GO11 does. That's how I was running the games before, so I could either stream them live in 3D or capture video of them. I don't need that now, so I'll comment that out, save the INI file, and run the game again. And it works! When I used Geo 11 on the LEGO Ninjago game, I ran into a crashing problem almost every time at the same place at the end of the tutorial where the master says, Now it's your turn, chicken. And then it would crash. And then I went into the INI files and tweaked it a little bit and I thought I had gotten rid of the crashing and I was playing remote play because that's the only way you can play it online and it crashed. Or rather, it would crash. But it did last about an hour or so, but I don't know whether it was a network failure or whether it was the game failure with the mod applied. Trine 4 is a game that you absolutely have to try in stereoscopic 3D. It looks amazing. And Trine 1, 2, and 3 had stereoscopic 3D options built into them, and you could even play it with anaglyph glasses, so almost anybody could play in 3D. I guess the developers thought, like a lot of people, that 3D is dead. But recently there's been a resurgence, probably due to the popularity of the MetaQuest 2. But combining the 3D Fix Manager fixes and Geo 11, you can now play this game in stereoscopic 3D, and it is absolutely magical. The last time. What if my hair falls out entirely? These next clips are from Devil May Cry 5. This game looks incredible in stereoscopic 3D, as you might well imagine. I'm using the 3D Vision drivers and the 3D Vision 2 side-by-side -side shader to be able to capture this. This was captured a long time ago when I was using a totally different method and it required you to downgrade your graphics card drivers and jump through some other hoops and it's just a lot easier to use GO11. Here's the GO11 clip and it looks very similar. There is a little bit of tearing down at the ground on the first clip but it looks like it clears up in the next scene. I am definitely not, because Injustice 2 looks amazing in Stereo 3D, and the endings of the fights have elements that either hit the screen or pop out depending on your settings. And speaking of settings, Control F3 and Control F4 adjust the separation, while Control F5 and Control F6 adjust convergence. 
You can get a readout of your settings by pressing F6. Here's a screenshot that's adjusted for pop out. Thanks for watching. I hope this was entertaining, if not educational. And one more thing as always, I take no responsibility if you did the stuff in this video to try to follow along and do it for yourself. That's at your own risk. If your computer blows up, your hair lights on fire, or your cat takes up smoking, that's not my problem. I'll see you next time in the next video. It's Stereoscopic 3D.